And it's time now for tonight's edition of our Daily Need to Know feature, where our team of experts are ready to answer all your questions on money matters and the economy. The Money Line team took to the streets to hear what questions you have, and ENCA resident economist Trudy Makaya was on standby to answer tonight's question from Mongani. I really want to know what, what is our government doing to accelerate um, our economy, the state of our economy in this country, because I think that it's picking up very much slowly than what I would expect. I just want to know what the government is doing and what we need to do to help um, boost our economy. The government's main economic policy for accelerating economic growth is the National Development Plan. Now this is a massive document with various themes starting with maintaining stability in the economy. So making sure that inflation, the exchange rate, the public debt are all within manageable levels. The plan also makes a big bet on infrastructure development being a way to kickstart a new wave of growth by ensuring that the challenges we face in terms of power, water infrastructure, roads and transport are alleviated. The plan also looks at the way we come up with economic agreements, such as wages, and it's looking at reforming the labor market to ensure that those institutions work better in terms of labor, business, and government relations. The plan also looks at the civil service to ensure that it functions efficiently. Now, what can average citizens do to contribute to economic growth? The first thing would be to familiarize themselves with plans such as the NDP, but also to inform and critique those plans given their own on-the-ground experience of the economy. The second thing, of course, is to be supportive um, of economic growth in terms of paying taxes and ensuring that you meet your obligations to the state. Then also ensuring that you try to support local business to the extent that it, it, it is feasible and possible. And finally, institutions can ensure that to, to the extent that the plan talks to their sector, they contribute towards the implementation of actual programs that will ensure that the economy gets into faster gear and does so in a sustainable and an inclusive way. Time now for a look at the markets. We start in the United States, where stocks fluctuated during trade today as record earnings from Apple offset a drop in commodity producers as oil tumbled. Earnings are in focus on Wall Street, with Apple putting in strong results today. With just about a quarter of the way through reporting season, 70% of earnings so far have beat analysts' expectations, but the picture is mixed. In Europe, markets were broadly down after a mixed batch of corporate updates. Meanwhile, uh, Greek stocks fell sharply today, down 6.2% on the Apex Comp Composite Index as the country's new government started to unravel key parts of its bailout agreements. Here at home, the JSE ended firmer today and all sectors contributed to a positive day. Another strong day for the banks ahead of the MPC announcement on Thursday. Industrials were up over a percent along with financials and resources which were up half a percent. Looking at commodities, gold continues to face resistance around the $1,300 an ounce level. Oil has been coming under pressure on reports of another surge in U.S. oil supplies, while major banks continue to slash price forecasts for this year. On the currency market, the rand steady ahead of the interest rate decision tomorrow. And that's it for today's edition of ENCA Moneyline. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to send us your comments or questions via email on moneyline at enca.com. You're also welcome to send us a tweet. Until tomorrow, good night.